So this is a 1953 Wade gas pump that I've had for 25 years. One of the things that got put on the back burner and finally got around to restoring it. The biggest issue was none of the numbers would turn. The gears, hard to see, but inside up in here were all froze. And it took a couple cans of penetrating fluid to get them unfroze. And finally got them working. And I got the faces all cleaned up and the numbers were starting to rust. And tech, actually, it wasn't the numbers rusting. It was the paint that was on the numbers. Because the numbers were stamped into aluminum. They couldn't rust. So I got them all cleaned up. And then I painted them with a white marker pen. I had to use rubbing compound on this part, which actually is not paint. It is a ceramic coating. Imagine that. So it held up quite well. One side had been a, had been a, one side was all kind of burnt looking due to the fact that there was an electrical short in the lights. And it, you know how the smoke goes and stuff. So anyway, got that all cleaned up, got it working. And the biggest challenge has been finding something to make these numbers, make the numbers turn. As you see down here, I've made this, even this uh, double T section that goes up into this spline here. And that is a 12 volt motor. Let me get around here where you can see it. That is, dang it, a 12 volt motor. It's not very big. It's only like an inch and a quarter diameter and three or four inches long. And I was able to buy these. Uh, it's kind of like a D shaft. And I made this. And at first I tried a electric drill. Well, you couldn't keep the trigger steady um, and slow enough to what I like. This motor, you can actually get these motors in different RPMs and I bought a 30 to 40 RPM motor. So it's 40 RPMs no load, 30 RPMs load. It's a 12 volt motor. Yeah, I could have ran it off a battery, which I did test it first. Uh, lawn tractor battery and it works so I said well I don't want to do that <laughs> then I have to buy a battery and then charger and all that so I bought this inverter uh, you got to know how many amps the motor pulls to buy the inverter so it can carry the load and it's 110 volts in 12 volts out for the 12 volt motor so with that said, uh, all I have to do, let me go around here, is I've, I've got an electrical box here, and I've got electric fan to cool anything down inside just in case. Um, they weren't very, it wasn't very much, 12, 14 bucks. The motor was uh, about the same or 21 bucks, I don't remember. But it made all this to work, and that little fan blows. It, it's it's the fan's 110. It blows air to keep things cool inside there. Um, I made this electrical box. Well, put in electrical box these plug-ins, and I have two different switches. Which there's a door that goes right here that you open. Uh, a little door, and. Um, I can reach in and turn the switches on. Turn the switch on for the lights, turn the switch on for the uh, numbers to rotate. And so here I'm going to flip the switch. This, this switch is for the 12 volt motor. This switch is for the lights. I've got colored lights. I ain't got this all back together yet, but I have blue and orange on this side. But here's the numbers turning at 30 RPMs. Revolutions per minute. 
uh, when this gas pump was last in use, gas was 32 cents a gallon. And as far as I can remember, that had to be in the early 70s. I was actually driving and remember buying gas at 25 cents a gallon. And then they had the big oil strike deal. I don't remember exactly what it was back then. The lines were a quarter mile long. That's not even exaggerating. And sometimes you buy gas and the pumps would be empty by the time you got there. Uh, oil embargo, something. Early 70s. Well, I remember exactly when. Before I went in the Army. So it was between, I think it was around 73. I went in the Army in 75. So I was a young man driving and you could fill your car up for 10 bucks and you could drive and drive and drive. Of course that was back when you could take a girl on a date to McDonald's and to the movies for $10 for both of you. Yes. Not exaggerating. That is the truth. Things have really gone to hell since then. But anyway, there's the numbers turning. So I'm going to stop them. Now these, these lights if you can see it very well it looks white but it's actually orange and it'll shine on this at nighttime be a nice light the light on top is pretty bright I may get a lesser watt bulb but that is for the globe that's going to be on top I'm going to paint this thing orange and blue it'll be beautiful this is where when you pump gas this little thing's gas went through here too and spun this little little wheel in there and that, that's not going to work but uh, the glass is all cleaned up. It was all yellow stained with the gas over the years. The varnish turned it colors. And um, the biggest part of the restoring this was the electric, electrical and getting these gears to turn. What a chore. So anyway, I'm going to turn it off. And this is how you reset the numbers is this little handle on the side. You go clockwise. And they start over. They both sides, both sides turn at the same time, uh, even when you're, when you're pumping gas, because back then you could park on either side and use and use the pump. It wasn't, it wasn't uh one car on one side, one on the other side at the same time because there was one hose and the hose come out over here, which I'm not going to put the hose on it because I'm going to put it in the house. So let me turn this back on again. And it looks white, but you can kind of tell that it's blue here. It's actually a blue bulb. I don't know why it shows right there, but there you go. 32 cents a gallon. I will show another video of it when it's all painted and done. And there's another one of those glass with a little spinning thing. Um, one more time looking at the motor. And all that is is a bolt and a nut. Tap that, threaded it into that. Uh, welded uh, the bolt and a pipe reducer. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, quarter that uh, no three eighths a quarter something like that and it made these little splines on top out of flat steel that's it for the day